welcome to my video on uh, blocking. Uh, this is where you block your knitting. Um, blocking is basically where you uh, get your knitting to um, to a particular shape or to form a particular shape. Uh, it's typically used for the stockinette stitch. Uh, this is an example. Um, it's also typically used in short row knitting, which this is also another example. So the stockinette stitch is where it's knitted on one side and purled on the other. So this would be the wrong side of the, uh, the fabric or the, the garment that you knitted. And then uh, the other thing too that's peculiar about uh, stockinette stitch is you see how it curls on the edges? So the, the edges tend to, on the wrong side, they tend to scroll, uh, if you will. Now one way you can go about preventing that is to uh, knit what's called a salvage edge the salvage edge will actually force uh, the, the scroll thing that's going on to kind of unscroll uh, a little bit. But essentially what you want to do is block your knitting. Now blocking is also used for garments. It's also used to help achieve a gauge, um, specifically in garment knitting. Uh, so for this you will need obviously your work and then you will also need um, a towel, just an old towel like this. And then you will also need something with on which to um, block your knitting. So for this, uh, this is actually a piece of styrofoam that I wrapped and pinned with an old uh, towel. And then you see I have all these stick pins around. And then the other thing too is you'll notice these brown squares here. Uh, the reason for that is I use this for three different projects uh, that I had going on. So the one that we're going to be using um, on this particular one is going to be this uh, right here. So this um, one that is the outer uh, square here and then kind of comes up and then goes like that. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to wet your knitting. Now when you, when you do uh, blocking, um, you're basically using either water or steam to force your work into a particular uh, shape or into a particular size. That's the whole thing with blocking. So on this one I'm showing you or I'm demonstrating how to do it with water. So all I'm doing is I'm just soaking my work soaking. Now the other thing is when you're using this water method you do not want to wring your work and so that's why I have the towel. I'll show you what I mean with that in a second but you just want to get this completely soaking wet and then what I like to do is, I do like to get some water out, but the way that I do that is I just pat it. Like that, but do not wring it, because if you wring it, you'll mar uh, your, your stitches. Okay, and then what you do is you uh, lay this out, kind of open your towel up uh, like that, and then just lay this out. And then from the left side, just start to roll it, almost like a jelly roll. So this is how you gently get the excess water out without wringing it. And as you can see already, it's starting to, to flatten out. But what we need to do is we need to pin it now. Okay, so we're at our pinning block here, and then what I just start doing is pinning this down into this particular rectangle that I have outlined that I've, I've decided to use for this. And so I begin by doing uh, each corner. And then I start to bring in the sides gradually.
So that's all of the pins. And then what we'll do is we'll let this dry. I usually let it dry overnight. And then um, after it dries, it'll pretty much be permanently um, in this position here or in this, this size as well as completely flat. So it won't have these pucker um, or these, these pock marks which are typical for uh, short now or typical of short row knitting. Okay, so this is dried and I've uh, unpinned it from the, uh, the board that I pinned it to earlier. And as you can see, it is now blocked. So it's completely flat and it's also in the uh, the proper gauge, so the proper size that we need for the uh, the actual afghan. And then we'll just, these will be sewn together uh, using the mattress stitch. Be sure to uh, watch that video too. It's a really cool way to join your uh, to join your knitting squares. So that is it for blocking your knitting. Thank you for watching my video. And please do subscribe to my channel so that you can see other tips, tricks, as well as patterns and things like that um, to learn how to do this kind of stuff.